So it's been a while that a lot of people ask me that how to prepare for IIT Jam. I'm weak. I don't have good concepts. So how do I prepare for IIT Jam? Which topics I should read? Which topics I should not read or don't uh, put more stress on that? So how to prepare for that? I have only three months left. Can I even pass IIT Jam and etc. etc. So that's why I thought I should make a video on what are the important topics that you should read and cannot ignore for IIT Jam Biotechnology. So stay tuned till the end of the video. So probably this is you who want to crack the IIT Jam Biotechnology. But what happens is as days goes by and time goes by, you feel frustrated and you just don't plan your stuff properly. So first thing that comes in your mind is where to start and what to read. And ultimately, this is the consequence of that. So you think it is too much to read, but you should plan it properly. First step, first, first step, you have to analyze the question paper of previous year. Second, identify the frequently asked topics and spend 70% of your effort to study all the topics which are frequently asked and other things you can like spend less time and just touch those topics briefly. Two important aspect is use audiovisual cues which would help your learning and boost your learning process several times and solve questions and continuously do self assessments that would help you to improve your skills. So first question is how much time do I spend on each topic and definitely you need to plan the time distribution. So here is the overall statistics of all the biology topics that are asked in IIT Jam, biotechnology exam. So among that, you would see there are at least nine such topics that are very, very important, including biochemistry, cell biology, NMR, molecular biology, immunology, microbiology, physiology, and um, cell signaling. So if you clearly see that topics like NMR, topics like cell signaling, these from these sections, there are not too much questions that are asked. They ask little bit questions from that, like every year consistently two or three questions. But every year they do ask questions from that. And all these questions are mostly elementary. So solving that questions continuously can give you consistent number. Other topics, for example, biochemistry, cell biology, they ask quite a lot of questions, but there are hard questions am among them. So the chances are that you won't be able to answer a biochemistry question even though you spend a huge amount of your preparation time to biochemistry. But if you tactfully handle this and do NMR first and cell signaling first, though the weightage is less, but you have that sure short number. And I have a whole playlist for NMR cell signaling, etc. for these topics, how to tackle those questions because NMR cell signaling, immunology, these part of questions are not, these, these type of questions are not generally taught in the course. And even if it is taught, it is taught in the last minute. So the preparation for these things is poor. Think about it. One of your friend may not answer a NMR question, but can answer the biochemistry question. So you have to play the game in a different way. So you have to like score in the uncommon topics that other people cannot score. So that would give you an advantage point. So now just let's look at uh, how do we plan our topics. Among all these topics, there are specific hotspot topics which are frequently asked and I have listed that. For example, so if we plan cell biology, one of the interesting part is cell signaling and they always ask like two to three questions every year and cell signaling coverage is low. And even inside cell signaling, special focus goes on G protein coupled receptor signaling and some aspects of it. After that, cell division is the most important one. And apart from these two topics, cell organelles and other residual topics comprise the whole bit, whose coverage is pretty huge. But at the same time, the type of questions are unpredictable and sometimes they are even difficult questions. So spending more time on cell signaling and cell division and cell cycle regulation is one of the most clever way to handle it. Now coming to biochemistry, frequently asked topics are 
structures of protein and nucleic acid and sometimes sugar as well so also structure and functions of vitamins so vitamins are one of the favorite topics of iit jam and every year people ask questions from this vitamin section also enzymology is another important topic where everywhere easy questions are asked from enzymology which are good and scoring apart from that metabolism is there whose coverage is huge but the chances that you would answer a metabolic question is always low so it's better to give time on metabolism but still bird's eye view of metabolism and touching all the topics of metabolism metabolism would be a clever way but among metabolism topics like glycogenesis gluconeogenesis glycolysis and fatty acid breakdown these topics are the favorite for iit gem now coming to planning molecular biology molecular in molecular biology central dogma like basic tr transcription translation and replication mechanisms are important and several enzymes that are used in this process are frequently asked year after year and also recombinant dna technology recon uh, restriction enzyme strategies and pcr techniques these are very very important from this molecular biology section there should be focus on lac operon and trip operon because at least one of the question from trip operon or lac operon is asked every year and several techniques in molecular biology is very important so they frequently ask a matching type questions where they give several techniques in molecular biology and their usage so that is, that is most easy easy to list and easy to score if you talk about microbiology it's an important topic and most of the questions are asked from the various aspects of cell bacterial cell structure cell wall especially now mainly comparison between uh, bacteria and archibacterial cell wall composition of the archibacteria and eubacteria etc now apart from that gram staining technique antibiotic mode of action bacterial toxin etc are one of the important topics in microbiology section so if you follow these kind of distribution and if you can customize your own distribution based on your own strength i would say it definitely work and it would help you to save your time and also prepare efficiently remember you cannot even if you don't cover everything but whatever topics you are covering cover it 100% because doing 20% of all the topics is not going to help for the exam rather than you cover 60% of all the topics but with 100% coverage that would give you an advantage over others and you could definitely crack this exam like anything so if you like my video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you